Alrighty, insulation guys are here. Hopefully they won't get stuck. Mm. See how this goes. It's supposed to have gravel here, but they didn't make it this morning. It is a mud bath over here. Yep, keep going. All right, turn. All right. got coming in today we'll see no. Let's see what we got where did you get stuck the truck or the the truck and the trailer is all together oh uh, no it's just slick those tires are street tires that's what i got these for and keep going forward keep going another another three foot all right, that's good. That's quite a load, ain't it? <laughs> yes, we'll put it in hers. I think it's six. Yes, sir. I could just take that whole pallet with me. Right. Now I'll just drive it down to the house. Oh, okay, let's just take it out. It's just easier. We're already this far. <laughs> Am I your last stop for the day? Last uh, delivery. Last delivery. You got to go pick up. Okay. say so myself <sighs> maybe tomorrow I'll we'll put those on but we'll see what is going on y'all it's King Ranger 13 and as you can see we got quite a load of uh, Nitto Mud Grapplers and they are going on the truck today. So super excited. Huge shout out to Trevor and Gabe uh, for putting on my lift last night. I had so much going on so I didn't have time to put on a lift and uh, they came through and put the lift on for me. The tires going on are 37, 13, 50, 17 Nitto Mud Grapplers as y'all know. 37s are just about all I run and Nitto Mud Grapplers are all I run. So, hey, uh, shout out to Team Nitto and uh, part of the Nitto pit crew there. 
I'm about to take this to drop off uh, and get mounted and balanced um, and also get alignment, of course. I wanted to say thank y'all so much for watching. Got something special up my sleeve. Um, someone's going to be coming onto the team that we will be showing y'all here very shortly. Uh, but in the meanwhile, uh, we'll deal with uh, just good old myself. I'm going to hurry up and go and get this dropped off so we can get on with the rest of our day. Oh, why is my steering wheel so off? Well, just kidding. It's because uh, we need to get alignment here uh, in, in a minute when, when we get the tires put on. I'm going to have them do an alignment first so that you know they're not trying to do alignment with the big 37s and they won't complain. Alrighty, so the truck is dropped off, just got done working out, and now I'm heading over uh, over to the church to see what uh, Colby and Josh they're up to. So I guess they got some big plans for this uh, church renovation here, so let's pull up and see what they got going on. Look at all those trucks. Wow. <laughs> Good morning! Are we having fun yet? Oh yeah, we're having a blast. How about you? The time. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, ouch! Man. Have you gotten to the point to where you carry around a whole thing for yourself? <laughs> ready, That's funny. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's different. Yep, they're gone. What you think, Mike? What's up, man? What do you think about it? Yeah, Iron Man. I mean, it's an iron. It's flat. Like Brother Johnny, good morning. Hey, How you doing? <laughs> good, good. What'd you up to? I just helping out these hooligans. <laughs> Asher, are you helping? Are you sure? No, not today. All right, so I got the truck picked up. I'm about to take it up to alignment. And before I show y'all, I got to show my buddies here. Uh, so let me uh, pull over to the church real quick and we're all, where they're all working and uh, do the grand reveal. How's it coming? What'd you think? It's a big difference, ain't it? Here's a reveal. <laughs> it's beefy. <laughs> Dude, this is this is with the two and a half inch. I've got three inch, so it's gonna stick out another half inch. I'm tired of getting stuck, so this is what happens. <laughs> now I can flip this over. It's high enough now. Dude, it's crazy. Nathan spent all morning on it. I dropped off at seven this morning. Yeah, I've got a, uh, I got a three inch spacer, so it's gonna space it out another half inch. Oh, you haven't put them on yet? Yeah, they literally just came in like right after I got back to the house. <laughs> of course, that would happen. I'm trying to think if I want to take these mud flaps off or not. I think I, I think I will. In Texas, that's a ticket. Man, it, I feel like it's got like an eight inch lift on there now. Three and a half inch lift. Just how I do every single one. For whatever reason, the back end looks a little bit taller. Mr. Johnny, <laughs> are you speechless? <laughs> All I can say is I'm glad you're not moving. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to swing by and <laughs> see how y'all are doing, and then. I know Josh and John want to see it. <laughs> All right, so I had to run back to the shop real quick. A couple things going on. The guys right here trenching the line, and we've got some insulation here. He's up on the scaffold and doing the ceilings, and so it's 20 foot eaves, and then I think it's like 26. So yeah, he's having to work with what he's got. 
Hopefully it's no OSHA violation, but what is OSHA? Oh, yeah, they so they've got all the office spaces done here. So I think tomorrow or Friday they're going to be coming in here and uh, pulling conduit for all my outlets, also for all the recessed lighting up in there. And then, um, as we can see, AC ducts. Wow, yeah. So he's pulled pulled through some of these AC ducts. So comment down below if you're a HVAC contractor or if you do spray foam and electrical stuff. I always like to see what uh, what kind of jobs that y'all do because I don't understand this construction stuff. I mean, I mean, I know a decent amount, but like, I don't know anything specialized. I don't build houses and stuff. But here, I'll show you all the ducts. So it looks like my unit's gonna be here somewhere. These are the lines going through there. There's one vent for the bathroom there. Uh, another vent for this uh, this room, which is the break room, kitchenette, refrigerator, and then duct four. This is the lounge room, and then this is for an office. I guess there's no ducts in this hallway. Or maybe they just haven't pulled it through. And then I got one from my office up here. Um, and I'm guessing the other lines are gonna go for the upstairs. Oh, so for the upstairs, they're gonna all run through. Actually, the, the unit for the upstairs is gonna be in the storage room up there because that's the only space that really worked out well. For all the vents, they're gonna go on top of the ceiling um, and through the ceiling for that. So. Everything's looking looking like it's coming along, and uh, today's actually a pretty nice day. It's uh, drying up all this mud over here. Hopefully this next week or so, you know, we'll be able to do some more work as far as getting in front of the, in front of the bays, you know, lined out.